What is up? Matthew Moore here for the EDM news for August 14th, 2018. Alenium has left his label Seeking Blue, formerly known as Mr. Suicide Sheep, in order to join Astral Works, which needs no introduction of the many acts that have been on. Some members of Astral Works include Porter Robinson, Dead Mouse, and the Chemical Brothers. Since Alenium is part of a major label, we can expect much more bigger presence from him in the future. In new music news, the first album that has been announced is Dylan Francis' album What What, that is coming out September 28th. You can listen to the full sampler on Spotify to get an idea of what the project is going to be like. Also on Instagram, the producer known as Grizz has posted that he has 10 completed tracks and he's looking to add 5 more onto his debut album. While his shows have been great as of recently, we haven't heard of any new Grizz music in a second, so I'm looking forward to when this project finally gets a release date. And lastly, for new music news, Ryan's Hemsworth album, Somewhere Elsewhere, has a release date set for September 21st. You can listen to the first single of the album, Thinking About You, featuring Joji on streaming platforms today. Other than new album announcements, the week has been kind of slow as far as new EDM news is concerned. One thing though is on the latest episode of Who is America, Sasha Baron Cohen went undercover as a DJ and ex-convict to a Miami club. He proceeds to interview the manager and even play some of DJ Solitaire's own music that was actually produced by Hudson Mohawk. Even after the interview, Sasha Baron Cohen managed to play a DJ set at a Miami club. He proceeds to troll for the entire set, shouting a bunch of ex-convict related things. I would suggest anyone that's a Sasha Baron Cohen fan to check out the clip. It's pretty comical. In even more silly news, Stephen Donnelly, a Irish DJ, was caught smuggling drugs into Australia. His master plan was to hide it in a noodle cup. Needless to say, the Australian anti-drug enforcement found the drugs and he is now looking to serve nine years in prison. Best of luck to Stephen Donnelly. I hope you get to make some tunes when you get out in the future. And if you want an even weirder news story, there is now a TR-808 craft beer. If you didn't want to just listen to your 808 drums in your favorite trap or future bass song, you can now drink beer that is inspired by it. While I'm skeptical on the taste of this beer, the video is actually pretty funny. Could bass alter the molecular structure of beer to enhance flavor? We introduced the 808 sub bass frequencies to the entire brewing process. And then our last story for today, Skrillex is teasing a new studio on his Instagram because it's not an EDM news show if you don't got Skrillex right. Be showing off his new studio. It looks really nice. Maybe he's gonna make some music in it. And we're gonna he's gonna release that music. And we're gonna hear that music, and we be we all be happy with the music. So those are all the EDM stories for this week. Now that you guys are filled in, let me know what you guys thought about the stories below. This has been the EDM News for August 14th, 2018. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.